Hey there, happy Tuesday, happy book review day. Uh, today's book is Quackery, A Brief History of the Worst Ways to Cure Everything uh, by Lydia King and Nate Peterson. So this is um, one of my very favorite kind of nonfiction books, which is, you know, where each chapter is very self-contained. And so you can kind of, you know, read it very piecemeal if you want. But if you read it all together, it also tells a very interesting history and kind of story. Um, so basically, you know, this is, these are uh, treatments for ailments or, you know, things that we thought would make us healthier. Um, and almost all of them have been disproven by time. So the table of contents looks like this. Um, and, you know, there's some things that are obvious in here, you know, like they tell the story of uh, Coca-Cola having cocaine in it. And, um, you know, they tell all kinds of different stories, um, uses of leeches and, um, you know, things that you look at now and you're like, oh my God, how did we ever think that was a thing? Um, my very favorite has to do with strychnine. And the number of times strychnine comes up in here is really interesting. Um, they talk about how close strychnine is in relationship to caffeine, um, how they act kind of similarly. And so uh, strychnine used to be used as a stimulant, um, particularly, or, particularly with um, athletes. <laughs> so, um, you know, they're poisoning them as they run, which is uh, terrible. So um, anyway, there's funny stories like that. There's also interesting tidbits like um, apparently it was a treatment for a different kind of um, mental conditions um, and Adolf Hitler was taking them um, progressively through his time, which may explain some of his erratic behavior. I mean, he's also uh, just a mass murdering fuckhead, as Eddie Ozard once said. Um, so there's that as well. But, you know, they talk about alcohol and tobacco. Um, tobacco has some really interesting tidbits, like um, that is where um, blowing smoke up someone's ass comes from. Um, so they used to believe in tobacco smoke enemas. Um, so you literally blew smoke up someone's ass. And um, so those are kind of interesting. I mean, there's all kinds of, I mean, while it is an interesting snapshot of medicine and science as we thought it was, um, and then now with perspective, looking back on it and kind of laughing at it, um, there's also all kinds of interesting pop culture references and just things we say that come from a lot of these things as well. Um, and, and of course, stories, you know, George Washington's bloodletting and so many other examples of that also. Um, the authors also do a really good job of coming back around to some of the things that we um, did thought were kind of quackery and then now do again. Um, and fasting is one of those things um, that definitely has kind of come full circle. Um, some of the other um, like leeches, you know, is one of those things that was very common and then kind of uh, looked down upon and then now is used again. Um, and um, so, yeah, I would totally recommend it. It was a, it was a delightful read. Uh, quackery by Lydia King and Nate Peterson. What are you reading? Let me know. Have a good one. Bye.